question 21 says, let f of x be a rational function that is graphed in the xy plane. Consider x equals 1 and x equals 7. The polynomial in the numerator of f of x has a 0 at 1 and does not have a 0 at 7. Okay, before I get too much further, we're talking about this um, f of x function that is a rational function, meaning it is built by two polynomials in both the numerator and denominator. The polynomial in the numerator has a zero at x equals one. This means that a factor that exists in the numerator must be x minus one in order to have a zero at x equals one. It does not have a zero at x equals seven. Um, that means it cannot have a factor of x minus 7 in the numerator. The polynomial in the denominator, now we're describing the denominator, the polynomial in the denominator of f of x has a 0 at both x equals 1 and x equals 7. So my denominator is going to have a factor of x minus 1 and going to have a factor of x minus 7. The multiplicities of the zeros at 1 in the numerator and the denominator are equal. In other words, if this had a cube on it, this too would also have a cube on, cube on it. The multiplicities for that factor are the same. Um, to make our lives easy, we'll leave them at 3, but they could also be any um, exponent power, 1, or anything like that that are the same. Which of the following statements is true. Let's take a look at our options. Question A says the graph of f has a hole at both x equals 1 and x equals 7. This is not true. x equals 7 here is not repeated in the numerator, so this is a vertical asymptote at x equals 7. And the fact that I have a matching factor, their degrees are the same, the fact that these match, this will create a hole at x equals 1. So we do have a hole at x equals 1, but not at x equals 7. B says the graph of x has a vertical asymptote at 1 and a hole at 7. Um, those are flip-flops, so that is not our answer choice. C says graph of f has a hole at 1 and a vertical asymptote at x equals 7. That is a true statement. I'm going to circle that and just double check D. The graph of f has a vertical asymptote at both 1 and 7. That is not true. Um, 1 is a hole and 7 is a vertical asymptote. So our correct answer choice here is C.